so now we will go to understanding what is pride so pride is that part or it's your defense mechanism that is hiding and masking that part that has felt inadequate you know for example um, uh, you know uh, you in some sometimes you, uh, in your past you might have gone to some kind of abuse and you then train yourself or uh, for whatever condition you start going through abuse and you kind of start accepting it because maybe there was no way out but then what happens is gradually without you knowing in uh, in your conscious awareness subconsciously you start getting a kick or you start enjoying the process of you know telling and proving to yourself that you can actually go through that abuse and you can actually go through it so we 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 we've seen in a lot of uh, you know sessions and we've done it students that this actually comes out that somewhere the kick or the pride of able to go through it then manifests it more into your life or like you know like a very simple example that sometimes in the sun you are not you know you find it very severe it's very hot and then you train yourself that no you have to do it you can do it and then it becomes like such a kick to be able to do it that you then overstretch yourself uh, another example would be like uh, you know in uh, some families when uh, especially in joint families when women get married and they are you know expected to cook and especially if people in that household all the women already who are there are very good at cooking and you were not able to do it so somewhere it embarrassed you you know you didn't feel adequate enough and from that day you decided that you will prove it to yourself that you can do it and so you would not only become very good as a cook but you would also ensure that you know time and again you would invite a lot of people in your house where you can you know keep serving them with food and even if you have the ability or the Uh, alternative to keep a cook or have more help you will still do it yourself somewhere because it's good that you learned it but somewhere we don't know where we cross that line of balance and we start enjoying that kick and that pride that we can do it you know and that pride can come in so many aspects of life like uh, uh, in terms of it can come in terms of our finance it can come in terms of time management we can we can develop a pride uh, that you know we can uh, go through so much of stress and yet deliver or we can go through a uh, pride of being able to manage you know like this tight rope uh, walking with managing with time and we we don't even realize it at the conscious level that at the subconscious we actually feel this kick and high that we can do it so it all it becomes about i i can do it and uh, uh, we realize that especially when it comes to finances so some people feel so much of kick in being able to go through lean finances that they keep manifesting it to prove it to themselves that they can go through lean finances you know like it may be initially sometime and it was a condition and you had to you know uh, settle and live with that kind of lean finance but then it becomes like a habit and we have realized that with those people even if abundance wants to come inside into your life but the pride of being able to survive in lean finances creates a barrier you know so this pride has definitely uh, helped you grow but if you look at it deeply somewhere who are you proving this to you're proving this to somewhere yourself and the time and the energy that you're spending in proving it to yourself do you think it's really worth it maybe you can opt for a easier way to grow maybe life can be much more simpler than you know overcompensating that feeling of being inadequate and demonstrating and then going on and over going on an overdrive and that takes away your energy somewhere so it's okay if you know you can't do certain things it's okay to embrace that part of you that felt inadequate and to just recognize and acknowledge it that it's okay 